Circa 1994, the Northern Rivers, New South Wales, had an influx of Yowie reports. More than likely stemmed by the airing of a Yowie story on a new television show at the time called The Extraordinary. Hosted by Warwick Moss, it featured Julie Clark's dramatic Yowie encounter while on horseback near the township of Crambark. The media attention she received thereafter seemed to be the catalyst for more people coming forward. At the same time, the Northern Star newspaper was running reports from Leeville, where footprints were cast from a visit of a Yowie that was said to be tearing down trees and limbs at night, which also left their dog badly injured. During the media hype, reporter James Kelly located several older Yowie reports from the district, written by Gary Buchanan of the Northern Star. They occurred in the nearby town of Woodenbong 16 years earlier. Woodenbong local Mrs Thelma Crewe witnessed two Yowies in her yard late at night. They were said to be hunched, no apparent neck, covered all over in a tan-coloured hair, and with arms, chest and shoulders larger than that of a man. Not long after, less than 300 metres from Mrs Crewe's home, there was a more dramatic Yowie encounter. Jean Maloney was working at 2.30am to the sounds of a small terrier yelping. Both Jean and her husband went downstairs, opened the back door and turned on the light to find a Yowie, approximately six feet tall, squeezing the dog into its chest. It dropped the dog and walked away. Not before leaving the dog with injuries, it never survived. Here is the Prime News report from 1994. Sightings in the 70s seriously. Reporter James Kelly has been on the case. Shocking, terrifying, mesmerising. That's the way a number of Australians have described their alleged encounter with the Yowie, an ape-like creature generally described as being about the size of a human, but having sharp claws, a much broader body, virtually no neck, forehead or chin. While scores of alleged sightings have occurred both by Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal Australians from Cape York south to Victoria, the town of Woodenbong, northwest of Lismore, is home to possibly two of the most chilling sightings. In November 1976, then 49-year-old Richmond Street resident Thelma Crewe, who has since passed away, watched as two hair-covered ape men walked onto her lawn and approached her house. Mrs Crewe said that she'd seen the Yowie come across the uh, our paddock here and across to uh, uh, across that way by her house about three o'clock in the morning it was neighbor alex summerscales wasn't living at woodenbong at the time but remembers the story well according to mrs crew she was in the kitchen the creature stood on the lawn for two or three minutes flexing its arms it then joined a similar creature outside a bedroom before moving off into the darkness along richmond street she said it was a big airy uh, thing, you know, like a big uh, uh, man-made, uh, man type of thing, uh, big hairy monster type of thing. In her words, quoted to a researcher, I was much too close to mistake it for anything I've ever seen before. It isn't possible to compare them with any other animal. Less than a year later, in August 1977, a second sighting in nearby Lindsay Street. A woman was woken at 2.30am by the sound of her dog yelping in the backyard. She investigated, only to be confronted with the creature directly in front of her, less than two metres away. In her words, it was sitting on its haunches and had my dog completely crushed up against its chest. The dog was almost completely covered by the creature's arms. It looked like the creature was trying to crush the life out of her eventually dropped the dog and disappeared down the side of the house. <laughs> when it happened, I bet there was some bad talk, I'll tell you. <laughs> so 
fact or fiction, the stories certainly continue to generate interest in this small village. Join us tomorrow night when we delve into the way locals feel about the sightings and what they could mean for Woodenbong's future. Uh. James Kelly reporting in Woodenbong, Prime Local News. Scary stuff. I wonder what they'll come up with tomorrow. I think he wants to get on Media Watch. <laughs> To hear the full AYR audio interview of Gene Maloney, scroll down to the Witness Audio Report number 01 on our YouTube page. Additional information can be found in the AYR database. Thanks for listening.